Crazy Kids Learning House. Today we are going to read the story Fletcher and the Falling Leaves by Julia Rawlinson. The world was changing. Each morning when Fletcher bounded out of the den, everything seemed just a little bit different. The rich green of the forest was turning to a dusty gold and the soft and swishing sound of summer was fading to a crickly whisper. Fletcher's favorite tree looked dull, dry and brown. Fletcher was beginning to get worried. I think my tree is sick, said Fletcher. What's wrong with it? his mother asked. Its leaves are turning brown, said Fletcher. His mother said, Don't worry, it's only autumn. Fletcher ran back to his tree and patted the rough bark. Don't worry, it's only autumn, he said. You'll be feeling better soon. But the tree didn't get better. Each day more leaves turned brown. One morning, the wind blew a small brown leaf off of a branch. Fletcher jumped up and caught it very gently in his paw. Don't worry, tree. I have got your leaf. I will fix you. Fletcher looked around. picked a piece of grass and carefully tied the leaf to a branch just then another gust of wind ruffled fletcher's fur the little leaf shook itself free and fluttered back to the ground fletcher picked it up again and thought very hard then he poked the leaf onto a twig and pushed it down firmly now you hold on tight no more flying around said fletcher The little leaf gave a tiny rustle in reply. The next day, a strong wind was blowing through the forest. Fletcher rushed out of the den and ran all the way to his tree. Lots of branches were bare and little lost leaves span everywhere. Don't worry tree, I will catch them for you. I promise. Round and round and round whirled Fletcher after the swirling leaves. Leaves Wonderful! Just what I need for my nest," said Squirrel. "But these belong to the tree. Don't take them away," said Fletcher. "The tree doesn't need them any more," said the Squirrel, bounding off. "Help! Help! The wind and the Squirrel are stealing our leaves!" cried Fletcher. "Leaves! Terrific! Just what I need to keep warm." said a porcupine rolling around but this belong to the tree said fletcher plucking leaves from the porcupine's needles not any more snuffled the porcupine and away he rolled help help the wind the squirrel and the porcupine are stealing our leaves cried fletcher suddenly a flock of friendly birds swept down from the sky They picked up the leaves in their beaks and poked them onto the tree's branches. Soon the tree was leafy again and the flitches flopped down and smiled. "Thank you birds, thank you." He gasped at the birds fluttered away. He lay looking up through the leaves at the sky and drifted off to sleep. But the wind continued to blow and the branches still danced. The leaves shivering and shook themselves and began to wriggle free. They tossed and turned and twitched and twirled and tumbled to the ground. They brushed Fritch's ears and nose and filled his dream with a whispering sound. When Fritch finally woke up, he couldn't believe his eyes. Instead of a roof of dancing leaves, all he could see were bare branches against the sky. Oh tree, I am so sorry," gulped Fletcher. "All your leaves are gone." But then he saw high in the branches one small leaf still holding on. "I won't let the wind stealing that one," said Fletcher, and he began to climb. He crawled along to the lost leaf and held it firmly onto its branch. All day long the wind blew the branch bounces and Fletcher held tight Don't worry I will stay with you leaf he said 
But then, with a sudden oath of wind, the branch bounced high. With a flip, the leaf let go and fluttered like a little flag clutched in Fletcher's paw. Fletcher looked sadly at the leaf he had promised to save. He carried it carefully down the tree and back to the den. He made a cozy little bed for it and gently tucked it in. But all night long, he could only think of his tree all on its own. At dawn, Fletcher tiptoed outside. The wind had finally stopped blowing and the air was cold. The moon still hung in the clear sky and pale stars glimmer. As he came to his favorite tree, Fletcher saw a magical sight. The tree was hung with a thousand icicles, shining silver in the early light. You are more beautiful than ever, whispered Fletcher. But are you all right? A tiny breeze severing the branches, making a sound like lofer, and in the light of the rising sun, the sparkling branches nodded. Fletcher gave his tree a hug. Then he went back to the den for a nice warm breakfast. The end. Bye bye, sweetie. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe.